Despite violence like that robbery, Chicago police are trumpeting a drop in crime in neighborhoods like back of the yards. But two investigator Brad Edwards found police statistics don't tell the whole story. Uh, it's a blood sport. It's, a, it's a, a neighborhood war where you have one faction trying to kill and, and maim as many of the opposition as possible using high powered rifles. That's Alderman Raymond Lopez in the snow tickled Davis Square Park, just a couple blocks from where, for example, earlier this year, two officers were shot when gunmen with high powered weapons began shooting indiscriminately at them. Lopez says battling a festering gang war has been tough because of what's happening on top. And just when the commanders get their groove, they're gone. Part of the problem here in the ninth, as the alderman sees it, rotating leadership here at the district. In the past two years, they've had fully four different commanders. Districts like the ninth district, listen, we asked Superintendent and, uh, Eddie Johnson about that. Four commanders in two years in the ninth. Is that acceptable? You know, unfortunately for some of those commanders that left the ninth district, they were good commanders. I, I recognize that. But they were so good that we felt the need to promote them up. That being said. Well, I think that moving forward, the person that's there now will probably be there for some time. Stifled some of the progress we have seen in other parts of the city where... Alderman Lopez hoping stability leads to street level success in 2018. Brad Edwards, CBS 2 News. Brad, thank you.